Who will like me and accept me for who I am? Yo, what up, Fight World? It's the kid ego, man. We just working. We doing a little this easy work. Yeah. Oh no. Hold up. Smash the like button. We just grind. Grind time like all the time. Yeah. What's happening? Damn, the kid is going in. Hold on, let me get my charger set up. Yo, we back on these motherfuckers. Death Row East, believe in it. And I'm really on the East Coast. Actually, speaking of staying in New York, an extra day. I decided to extend my stay. I love it out here. I'm from the west side, you know, but I love it out here too. New York treat me good. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Oh, big shout out to Blue Blood Sports. This is Neck of the Woods. And then after the fight, we kicked it and he showed me around town a little bit. So, you know, we just connected. Everybody, there's enough room for everybody to eat. So shout out to Blue, Blood, the real one. You know what I mean? The real dude. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. Cool people. Listen, this is the first ever. I'm TV Ego. I, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do the stream in my hotel room. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're doing new shit. I got hotel slippers. They got the little slide joints. I'm going to do my whole stream. I'm going to do the whole stream in a hotel road. Pause. I don't care if y'all mad. Listen, this shit is comfy. I'm just chilling. We're going to talk about Kovalev, whatever, Anthony Joshua, Wilder Fury. I'm TB Ego. Listen, like I said before, I got the livest live streams. I do the, I do the whole stream in my hotel road. Okay. <laughs> Let's get it, people. Can y'all hear me? Does it sound sound worse than normal? Cause this, I'm on my. I, hold on. Hold up. The sound is cool. Yeah. I don't look at it as an upset. That ain't no upset to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we got a hundred people. We don't have fifty likes. We gotta get. <laughs> we gotta get. We gotta make it. I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. The music is too loud. Hold on. Y'all got these baby ass eardrums. <laughs> Let me turn this shit down. Hold on. Yo, we gotta we gotta do better with the uh joint. Hold on. Oh shit. Hold on. Listen, do do y'all need me to connect the mic? The mic or whatever. Or are we good with the sound? Cause I don't want to get too deep into this stuff if y'all can't hear me loud and clear. Do I need to connect it or just use the onboard? All right, people hear me fine. Then. All right, good. Yo, shout out to Rick Meister 54 from Australia. $3 super chat. Keep up the great work, Ego. Thank you. Appreciate it. Shout out to Super Chat. We doing the whole stream in the bathroom. First ever. Who you know in boxing get down like this? Man, we do what we want. This is our show. This is the Ego Army. We run this shit. Um Kovalev, Kovalev. To me, it wasn't an upset. L listen, I, I don't even have, like, y'all get mad when I say I told y'all so, but did I tell y'all so? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all be, oh, stop saying that. But I did tell you guys. Like, I see, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you got to prove that I'm wrong. And I'm good with that. Or if it turns out I'm wrong, the facts come out, okay, cool. I can accept defeat. I can accept 
You know what I mean? I don't like to be wrong per se, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Right? But I I distinctly, I know what I say because I'm there when I say it. And I really remember, I told you guys on several occasions, I said Kovalev, he had a new trainer and he was saying, oh, I feel great and John David Jackson ain't shit. And he never did shit for my career. I was training myself. Woom, woom, woom. And I'm like, he's not fighting the level of competition that would really force to pull anything out of him to the point where we can see if he's the same. You know what I mean? See if he's the same post Andre Ward losses, right? Andre Ward did something to that man. And I'm not just saying that because I'm from the Bay. It's clear to see. I'm not taking anything away from a leader Alvarez, but you, you guys gotta, you gotta look at it. You know what I mean? Ward is a fraud. All right, you in the hot seat. Why is Ward a fraud? Uh, big chilling. Yeah, you're going to be big chilling by yourself after you get kicked the fuck out. So why is Andre Ward a fraud? You got one response because I know it's going to be some stupid shit. Why is Andre Ward a fraud? What did he do? Because he snatched Kovalev's soul? Like, what, what did he do to become a fraud? Big chilling. You have 15 seconds to respond. Yeah. In the bathroom, we still catching bodies. See, just because I'm out of town don't mean I forgot. I know the setup of my channel. Y'all not coming on here, leaving these crazy ass fly by night ass flash in the pan comments. Big Chillin says the first fight was rigged. Strike one and you're done. He's okay. So even if you felt the first fight was rigged, how does that make him a fraud? Get your dumb ass. Hold on. Let me get this clown out of here. Bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. That was easy. That don't even make sense. Ward is the fighter. He's not the ref. He's not Adelaide Bird. He's not the judges. So even if you thought Kovalev won the first fight, well, how does that make Ward a fraud for some shit he didn't create? That's like saying I'm a fraud because of 9-11 or some shit that didn't, I didn't have nothing to do with that. How does that make me a fraud? You know, You get what I'm saying? Like shit don't even make sense, man. Shout out to JT, $4 super chat. Ward took that man, KKK, Kovalev's nuts. You already know. Yeah, conspiracy theorists are always lame. Exactly. And there's no substance behind it. It's just what you want to feel. That's it. That's all it is. It's like, okay, let's say there is something that goes um, like under the table dealings or whatever in boxing. How the fuck do you know? You're just a random YouTuber that leaves dumbass comments, you know what I'm saying, with no picture profile and you troll. How would, why would they tell, like, let's say it was a top rank fix, PBC, whoever. Why would they tell you? Who are you? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, well, how are you in on the, on the secret, the fucking secrets of the universe and secret of Narnia and all that? Why do they tell you? How you know? Who told you? Oh, yeah, it was rigged, man. God. And they say it so confidently. No, Ward Kovalev 1 was rigged. So who, who hit you? Rock Nation? SOG? Main event? Like, who told you that? Listen, smash the like button. We working. Yo, we got almost 200 people in the joint, and we don't got 100 likes. Y'all got to smash the like button, man. We... We putting in overtime because I got footage from the from the fights that I'm pushing back. You know what I mean? To do a live stream, so y'all got to show that love. Other than that, I can get right to these edits for the channel. Shit, I'm already past due, but you know it's cool if, if, if there's a purpose for it. Um, yeah, man, just people making up all these conspiracy. Oh, Andre Ward, he did it. Like, hold on, let me get my water. Yeah, I can't be getting parts dealing with these maniacs. Gotta stay hydrated. These motherfuckers will <laughs> take all your, your hydration out. Dealing with anyway, I really feel I'm not taking anything away from the leader Alvarez. He's a very good fighter. 
congrats to him. But that's that Andre Ward effect. Same thing. I mean, just look at it. Listen, how many times does a person have to do something before you actually like fess up and be like, okay, I see, I see. Like, how many times does Floyd Mayweather have to win for you to stop picking against him? Do you get what I'm saying with the question? How many times does Floyd Mayweather have to fucking defeat somebody for you to stop picking against him? How many times does Andre Ward have to show you his championship medal for you to stop doubting him? How many times does Ward have to ruin somebody's career to the point where, you know what I mean? Like, look at Chad Dawson. Ward dogged him. Chad Dawson gets knocked out his very next fight against Adonis Steven at his weight where he was a champion. And Adonis Stevenson been a champion ever since. Not that he's fought, like, you know what I mean, the, the best light heavyweights necessarily, but... Hash man boxing. You sound ridiculous. Elita Alvarez did a better job on Kovalev. Yeah, because he got... Like, do people like you sound stupid, and you don't know shit about boxing. And I'm going to tell you why. Because Alita Alvarez got him after Ward dogged him in, in a fight in a half. You know what I'm saying? After two fights with Ward. So, yeah, Alita Alvarez did his thing, but he also got... Ward dealt with the undefeated Kovalev at his pinnacle. Kovalev was confident. Kovalev had killed a man, so he knows he has real-life power. Like, literally, I don't know... Who, some of y'all, most of y'all should know that, but Kovalev literally killed somebody in the ring. Like, he fought them, got they got punched several times, and then they later died. That's an actual fact, right? So, I mean, Kovalev was the menace. He was the bully. He was the light heavyweight, you know what I mean, Mr. Untouchable with the belt. So, you guys, in your effort to take away credit for from Andre Ward, oh, Alita Alvarez did much more convinced. Yeah, because... Andre Ward kind of showed the way, you know what I mean? He already put the cracks in the windshield. He already showed what what Kovalev suffers from, or not suffers, what Kovalev um, needs work on. Do you get what I'm saying? So, like, put it this way. I will bet, what we could bet whatever you're trying to bet. Who who got who got money? We bet, what, what y'all want to do? We we got a thousand dollars. Y'all want to do twenty five hundred? Y'all want five k? How much y'all trying to bet? I bet you any kind of money that a leader Alvarez watched the Ward Kovalev one and two, or at least one of them. Who wants to bet me that a leader Alvarez did not watch Ward Kovalev fights and just went into this fight and did whatever he did with Kovalev without seeing either Ward fights? Who wants to bet me? We, we can bet whatever. Because I know that's easy money. And, we, and I'm going to contact his people. You know what I'm saying? I just seen the Watson twin. I'm going to contact his people. I'm going to try to do an exclusive interview. And, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. But I promise you he watched the War Kovalev fight. Well, I, I mean, that would be foolish not to. I see y'all ain't trying to put no money up. See, y'all got to put some money up. I need I want to put some money up because I want I want to I want there to be an end result to proving y'all wrong. Shout out to Sam. Two dollars super chat. What's next for Kovalev? What do you think of DJ Cody lost? Oh, Dillashaw. Hey, TJ is top phantom weight. Fuck it. He did it, he did it, and he did it again. I'm not gonna argue. Listen, I don't argue, I don't argue when people keep proving it like you know what i'm saying like oh this is like the dillashaw uh garbrand i like i like cody garbrand a lot you know what i'm saying i think he trained out in north cal but i mean what can you say tj beat him they had a little beef then he beat him again and he beat him by like tko or whatever so there's nothing that there's no discussion what, what are we gonna what are we talking about was no controversy. It was you got TKO. Um, Sub Zero, Sub Zero. That's a great name for you because everything you're saying is going cold. He said Ward got his ass handed to him the first time. Alvarez would knock Ward ass out too. 
That's cute. Hey, shooters, get just get Sub Zero up out of here. Like, see, this is listen. They're not all they're doing is saying like speculation. The styles make fights. Ward's confidence hasn't been chipped. I just talked to him. I mean, a clean cut, working on the Creed two set, doing the contender. Hey, what are you talking about? These dudes is mad. Yeah, you mad the Bay Area got shooters, and it ain't just Steph Curry and KD. Bay Area got shooters. Andre Ward, boxing ego. Y'all mad? It's cool. It's always the ain't done shit motherfuckers who, who hate the most too. Like what you done in your you like you an elementary school janitor? You got to put that sawdust on the when the kids throw when the kids throw up. You got to get that bag with that sawdust and then put that sawdust to absorb it. You know what I'm saying? They got to put that that absorbent material, that little sawdust. Y'all seen that? Motherfuckers, janitors and cafeteria ladies and shit talking about Olympic gold medalists and, and other people that are established in their craft, like me. You know what I'm saying? What are y'all talking about? Yeah, put that cat litter shit on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a feed the kids a bunch of shit to make them throw up just so you have to clean it up. Fuck you mean. Yo, Carlos, what's bracken? What's, what's good, man? We out here we just chilling. Man, listen. These dudes cleaning up uh, kid vomit. And I got so much to say. Like, at least be accomplished in whatever field or line of work you are. You, you motherfuckers are working at Domino's, taking toppings off the pizza, eating people's pepperonis. You got shit to say about me. Don't, don't, you don't got nothing to say about me. Or Andre Ward, or that you just talking just to be talking. If you eating toppings off of other people's pizza that they pay for on your route to deliver the pizza, you foul. You know what I'm saying? Why are you eat? Why are you eating their toppings off? You didn't even pay for it. At least take like fifty cent off the order. You know what I'm saying? Like if their total was twenty dollars, you should charge them nineteen fifty because you ate some of the toppings off. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers eating toppings off people's pizza while you go to deliver it. Mm. Yeah. They didn't let me take my 15 minute break. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop. Listen, stop eating the toppings off the pizza. You didn't pay for that pizza. I understand that you work for it, Domino's and you're going to deliver the pizza. But stop eating other people's toppings. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, Andre Ward is a soul snatcher. Shang Tsung. Your soul is mine. That motherfucker took Kovalev's soul with it. And the thing is, Ward is so cool. He's just like laid back. But he he will take your soul. Just <laughs> Put that soul in his... Man, I ain't got no pockets in this. It's a bathrobe, but you guys get it. Just, just like that. That's how we do it in the Bay. We just take your soul. It's just like, this is how you got to steal somebody's soul. It has to be like one fell swoop. You can't be like, oh, and then fumble the soul around. You know what I'm saying? You can't be all clumsy with it. You got to just be like, you see that? It's like a sleight of hand trick. Just, and then you just act like nothing happened. That man Kovalev got wrecked. Yeah, man. We the road gang. Gang gang, road gang. Stunt gang. But yeah, I, I really and I'm not I, I promise I'm not trying to say like a leader Alvarez. He's a good fighter. He brought he brought it up. It's like Kovalev. I, I, I don't know, man. I just I don't know what else to say. I just told y'all. I literally told I said Kovalev. Like who? Do, who is Igor? Who is Igor McCalkin, my guy? Who is that? Igor McCauley Culkin. Who? Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Like and then, like, and that's what I said. I said Kovalev when he came back post ward losses, he wasn't fighting like Vod's Dick or Arter Better Bf, the guy who beat him in the amateurs, or Dimitri Bivol, or even a Sullivan Barrera. You know what I'm saying? Sullivan Barrera beat Shabransky. 
even though he later lost to Bebo, he beat Jabransky. And then Kovalev fought Jabransky after beat, after Barrera beat him. But Kovalev, if he would have, when he fought Jabransky, if he would have fought Sullivan Barrera instead, that would have been before the Dimitri Bebo stoppage uh, over Sullivan Barrera. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just, it is what it is. But, like, I think with Kovalev, his biggest deal is he failed to embrace and accept either loss. But the the downside with what Kovalev did to me, this is just my opinion, people. The downside is this. Mighty Mouse lost. Who? Demetrius? He lost? Is that real? Who's Mighty Mouse? You talking about Demetrius? Hold on. Who's Mighty Mouse? What? Who did he lose to? Wow. Wow. I wow. I was working, so damn, he lost. Yeah. I guess DJ and Dillashaw is out, but yeah, Kovalev never accepted his his L's. He never he never took that. He never took his his losses, like both of them. And the problem, from my perspective, this is the problem. The problem with it is you've exhausted the way you handled it. Like, listen, I know y'all get mad. The black channel. Why do the black channel? Listen, I what I'm saying is pure fact. If you just look at it, listen to what was said. Don't be like, oh, the black. Why do the black channels give crap? Right. Robert Easter Jr. Everybody type in Robert Easter Jr. And give him props. Yes, we know he lost to Mikey Garcia, and it was a convincing loss. I was there. I covered as media. But everybody type Robert Easter Jr. and put some clap emojis. Robert Easter Jr., we will not continue to stream until y'all type that. Or put some clapping emoji. And I'll explain why you guys are doing that. Robert Easter Jr., clap, clap, bravo. We need to see it in the comment section. I told you, new media, this is something different. This is not what you're used to. We give credit where credit is due. Robert Easter Jr., three words. This stream will not go on until y'all put some claps and put some respect on that man, Robert Easter Jr.'s name. Now let me explain it. Now I see the engagement. Cool, we working. He lost. But look how he lost. He went out on his shield. He was trying to the best of his ability. Mikey proved to be the better fighter. But it's not even so much what he did in ring, and I was there for it. It's how he lost outside of the ring. He had some fun with it. He was like, damn, Mikey hit hard. Guard. You know what I'm saying? He was having fun with it. He gave props. He says, you know, before boxing, things get ugly. Stuff is said. But then it's all respect. Him and his team, congrats to them. And he and he owned it. He owned it. There was no, like he said, he had me looking like Martin versus Tommy Hearn. He said, Mikey hitting hard, guard, right? Now Robert Easter has, it, like, it's almost like a curse. He's lifted the curse just in doing that. Some of you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, and you be the motherfuckers that stay cursed in the, your situation. Whatever your di- whatever L's life, listen, because ain't nobody, I don't care who you are, ain't nobody on this planet that I've ever met went through whole lives, like a long life, not like, you know what I mean, premature life ended or something, but a whole life, a lengthy life. And didn't take one L. Ain't nobody. I ain't mad. He, he can have all the money. He could have been born into wealth. But you had a girlfriend that cheated on you with a broke dude or something. Or, you know, you, you had a scare. You had to file bankruptcy. You went through some type of L. Everybody has. You know what I mean? And if you go through these losses in life as sore losers and you don't just 
take what was delivered and then learn from it, then it is going to be a hard it's going to be a hard road to recovery because you're you're going to almost have a chip on your shoulder and dwell on it. So Robert Easter Jr. in my opinion, how he treated the Mikey Garcia law. And keep in mind, see, I'm fair. Y'all be like, oh, the black channel. Robert Easter Jr. called for Mikey Garcia longer than Mikey Garcia called for him. And some people even said Mikey Garcia was afraid to fight Robert Easter. But you know what they say, be careful what you ask for. So Robert Easter, he kind of got the ball rolling. He was calling Mikey's name out. But he got everything he was looking for because Mikey, you know what I mean, showed up. Had a good performance. But again, I talk about boxing. It's deeper than just boxing and boxers. This is about almost life. You know what I'm saying? Like the character of a person. You know what I mean? Like Muhammad Ali, it's not like he never took an L, but it's what is his character. It's that he stood up for something. He was an icon. People love him. The people embraced him. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like what Robert Easter Jr. did in his L was the polar opposite of what Kovalev did. He embraced the L and, and, and trust me, like I said, that's a tough pill to swallow because Robert Easter Jr. was the one barking up the tree. He was the one like, Mikey, Mikey, I want to fight Mikey, let's unify, da, 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 Mikey. You know, he was calling for the work. And then to, to come up short, I, I know it has to pain you a bit. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody trying to have an eight to 10 week training camp training for a person and still come up short because they were the better man that night. You know what I'm saying? So I know, you know, it's, it's a loss, but he took it, he took it on the chin. He took it like a champ. Kovalev didn't do none of that. You know what I mean? Kovalev didn't do none of that in either one of the losses. Either one. Shout out to Jason Whitaker. And for that reason, I feel like, like Kovalev is going to, I told y'all, he, he, there was no humility and he's going to have a hard time at the highest of levels because he's not, he's not embracing the L like, okay. The first one you'll say is contra. I was at both of them. I, I cover both of them as media, you know, young credentials. So let's say you felt jobbed in the first one, whatever. But then what's your excuse for the second one? You was talking about, Oh, uh, the judges and uh, my nuts and my belt. And like, no, it, you lost. You got stopped. Uh, and Tony Weeks is flat top. Like, had nothing to do with Tony Weeks' flat top. Had nothing to do with judges. Had nothing to do with war taunting you. Uh, uh, Tony Weeks is the ref, and he feel that my nuts don't matter. Like, no, bro. All that nut shit, and y'all motherfuckers ran with that. Some of y'all. And I told y'all, I was like, stop it. Stop with this nutcracker shit. You know what I mean? Oh, SOG, son of groin. <laughs> Am I right? Am I? We're having a son of groin now. Where's son of groin? There, yeah. Yeah, let's bring up son of groin. Yeah, okay. A couple months ago, you said it was son of groin, huh? You said it wasn't a real loss, huh? Did Kovalev looked the same to you last night? Jay! Like, motherfucker, y'all talking about son of groin and all this dumb shit. Where are they? Listen, yeah, where the son of groin fanatics at? Yeah. Yeah, I want to talk to them son of groin for that. No, that, that see y'all got y'all say so so much stupid shit. I feel guilty even request. I'm like, yeah, where's son of groin at? Let me talk to son. I sound suspect saying the dumb shit y'all say. <laughs> Where the nutcracker at? Give me son of groin. Like you got me sounding stupid. Repeating the stupid shit y'all say. But yeah, where them son of groins at? <laughs> yeah. You remember Kovalev? Yeah, he beat Ward's ass twice. Yeah. Is that you still feel that way? Man, these dudes is these dudes is crazy. These dudes crazy. I'll try to tell you. These motherfuckers crazy. Andre Ward took that soul. Just like that. Just bow. I'm telling y'all. We when do you ever like I'm I, again, I'm not trying to take anything away from a leader, Alvarez. True, true fighter. I follow his career, you know what I mean? He's been calling for a Donna Stevenson fight, right? So I, I watched him. I watched uh, even some of his fights that weren't even like big ones, but they were televised on like Showtime or whatever. And I mean, we've never seen Kovalev look like that. 
we've never seen. So that confidence was definitely chipped and something was taken as far as I, I don't care who, like who says what, that confidence was dented by Andre Ward. And see, this is what I told you. It's one thing to say something public, but to be about that and like, for example, somebody can get on the internet and talk tough. Bruv, you're getting slapped when I catch you in the hood. Hold on. You're a sellout fool. What hood? You a fake ass nigga. Yeah, but you talking on online. What hood? Because I'm I'm in New York. Like, what, what are you talking? These dudes just be saying whatever. They want attention so bad. These dudes want attention so bad. I don't know, you getting slapped. First of all, if you a real like OG, like on some mafia shit, like made man shit, First of all, you wouldn't come online and tell the crime you're going to do. Oh, you're getting shot twice in the chest when I see you and then have evidence. These dudes be stupid. That's why nobody automatically believes you because you're going. Why would you even incriminate yourself online? Me, yeah, I'm going to rob you for all your jewels. Wait till I find you. Yes, my name is Henry Armstrong. What? Who does that? Me, me and the Crip gang, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you when we see you. Who the fuck would announce some shit like that? Like I've done shit I'm not necessarily proud of, but I don't announce the dumb shit. Nigga says, are you on drugs? Are you broke? Are you broke? Negus, are you broke? You motherfuckers think this hurts me. He just, are you on drugs? Are you broke? And that's that's what we want to know. Show me that bank statement. Yo, shout out to Fighter IQ. $2 super chat. He said, cool meeting you at the fight yesterday. Real dude. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming up. Shout out to my dude. He started his own channel. Yeah, they hating. Yeah. I'm living life in the bathroom. They can hate all all they would. Anyway, I don't care. Hate on me all day. That shit don't. I've been through way worse in life. It was some hate from a stranger via comment. Did you see all those characters in that sentence? God damn it. And listen. Y'all can hate me all you want. But when when I dap up with these fighters... And they say you doing a good job or you one funny dude or you funny as hell. And you know what I mean? Other stuff off the record. Then I know it's real. So hate on. And these fighters are telling me what it is. And then, you know what I mean? They're in the sport. So I don't talk about some random bozo named Negus or Slavin. What does that do? What does that do? I mean, really. I mean, but when these fighters look me in the eye and be like, man, you that dude. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm just doing my job. Or as Pacquiao said, um, um, it's up to my promoter. I'm doing my job. <laughs> I'm just doing my job, man. Yeah. Shout out to Leader Alvarez. Shout out to Andre Ward. Shout out to the Black Channel. Why do the Black Channel celebrate when we got this? The Black Channel. <laughs> yeah. They say I'm on drugs. Yeah, I'm on drugs. High on life. You are an amazing person. Thank you. The Black Channel. Why do you like Channel? They hate all of them. <laughs> ah, ah, we have been fun. I told you. Death Row East. Believe in it. This shit is funny. It, because, listen. These motherfuckers is sweating bullets. Old media. You see, I'm I'm comfy. I'm in a, I'm in a bathrobe. Life is grand because I know what I've said and I know what I put out there and I know the insight that I've revealed on my channel. See, they always got to do like damage control. Like when Anthony Joshua, they say whatever about, oh, Wilder's just a bum bitch and he has the contract. Why won't he sign for April? Or the Kovalev is the master and Andre Ward is the slave. You know, they say all this stupid shit and then they got to struggle. They got to struggle to come up with the next fighter to jog 
the, the next narrative that they want to push, why it happened. We don't worry. See, listen, y'all, y'all still trying to find out reasons why it happened. Make other excuse. Oh, but the leader Alvarez, he beat him better than Ward did. Yeah, because he got uh, he didn't have the undefeated Kovalev. Kovalev was at his peak. He bodied Jean Pascal at home twice in Canada in front of his family and crowd, right? Twice. He bodied uh, Nathan Cleverly. He had Bernard Hopkins. He didn't knock him through the ring like Joe Smith Jr., but he had Bernard Hopkins. He had the executioner about to get executed in that 12th round for props to B-Hop's chin and, and tenacity. But that was not a pretty looking sight in that 12th. I was like really legit worried about my dude B-Hop. Like you better hop about this ring because Kovalev was throwing some mean shit in that 12th round. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Joseph Brown, $5 super chat. Mad respect for what you do. Ego real recognized real. See? They can hate, but the love always be so real. And I, I think that's what creates more hate. You know what I mean? They see the love that's shown. They see the super chats. They see, you know what I mean, the ego sightings and the Instagram growing. They they hate when when I'm right on a channel. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Shout out to Mosquito. He said, KKK Kovalev fans are so bitter they bring an awards name instead of the guy that actually knocked out KKK Kovalev. Ha, ha, ha. Wow. Shout out to you for Super Chat. Shout out to Kim. Ward Wright to Kovalev's chin started his chin decline. $2. Yeah, man. I got an interview with Joey Spencer, who had a great performance. And he brought up some good point. He's like, you he was just saying, like, sometimes. Actually, I'm trying to think if I talked to him or if I was recording. He's basically saying sometimes you get touched on the chin, you're not the same. You're not the same. Like, you don't, like, your confidence. It's chipped away, and I really feel like the war fight did that. You know what I mean? And everyone's everyone's like going out of their way to not give credit. Joey Spence has the Spencer has a chance to be a star. Oh, he will be a star. Trust me. As long listen, him and his family are really good people. So as long as I'm around, if I can help it, he'll be a star. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could be the only channel on YouTube. You know what I mean? But that's my dude. So I'm going to try to give him maximum exposure. Listen, listen. I'm going to tell you, man. See, I normally don't show y'all shit like this, but I, I tell you, this is why they hate. They want to be in our position. Look. When you know the fighter personally, you know what I'm saying? Who is that? Who is that? Smiling. Y'all see that? That's Floyd. Floyd Floyd was giving Joey props and like advice while Joey was in there fighting. Man, it's all coming. I, I told you. Listen, all we do is work hard and reap the benefits. Hey, I'm going to say it again. All we do is work hard work, dedication, and we reap the benefits. I've watched Joey when he was this tall to this tall to now. He's been working hard. Him and his family have been working, de developing their brand. All we do is work hard, reap the benefits. Oh my gosh. Listen, y'all got to smash the like button for the real. I told you, the real is back. Real is in fashion. Real is in fashion. On the corner in the box. Hold on. On the corner in the corner boxing. Daddy P, $5 super chat. Gang, gang. Shout out to you. Kovala was talking all that trash about John David Jackson, but got KO'd without. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, I just said that earlier in the stream. Like, you would okay. Let, let me see. We we got so much to talk about. It's so much. Yo, we got to get them likes up, people. We got like three hundred people over here. Like, we got to get them likes up, bars. Real talk. Ain't shit free. All we do is work hard, hard work, dedication, and reap the benefits. Listen, like I said before, I knew since I was a little boy that one day we would have the top channel 
I was a young, hungry lion. Kovalev never accepted defeat. I told you guys that would be his downfall. And he fell down, all right, three times. I got knocked down, whatever you want to call it. You got to, you have to, to move on. Okay, put it this way. You know I'm the king of analogies. We got to get them likes up. I see the likes. Y'all keep leaving comments, but I know there's some people that ain't even like the video. Smash, smash the like button. Y'all got to smash. Listen, wait, wait, wait. I need y'all to smash the like button, and I'm going to keep talking. But, <laughs> Kova, yeah, I'm going to give y'all an analogy for y'all. If you have a girlfriend for three years, y'all break up. She breaks up with you. You didn't want to break up at that particular point, but she did it anyway. You can't afford it. You know what I mean? You can't be on no Cosby shit and make her one. Bitch, please. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't force her to be with you. You get back, get over here. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You can't, be on, you can't be on some Cosby shit and like force. Listen, you can't force her to, to be with your dumb ass. She don't want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, please get over here. It's the pudding. I told you I didn't, I didn't want to be with no other bitch. I want to be with you. I really want to be with you. Nah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. You can't force her to be with you. You cannot date anybody but me. Date me, you see. <laughs> Oh my god, my cheeks hurt. Listen, you can't force her to be with your ugly trash ass. You know what I'm saying? She wanna be with uh dirty dick Derek. She don't wanna be with you. The bitch get back here. You know, I'm still I'm still kinda in the relationship a little bit. Just watch it leave. <laughs> Shout out to D Lo 404. Boxing and more two dollars super chat. Kova left out of excuses is man up or man down. I agree with you. Thank you for the super chat. I, out of all the type of chat I like to get the super chats, it's, it's so sweet when you guys do things like that. <laughs> Let me stop with this godly shit. Bitches come out the woodwork talking about some me too shit. Yeah, boxing ego, he touched me. You fondle my booty. Like, I, I'm, bo I'm boxing ego. I didn't fondle nothing unless you let me. I might have you let me, but I, I would never do that to a woman. My mother's a woman. I love women. You know what I'm saying? And I got a sister. I would never do that. Like, hashtag me too. But hashtag boxing ego. Like, take me out of that. I ain't never done no shit like that. I don't got to do li I'm Listen, I'm bathrobe shorty. Okay. I ain't got to do that. Boxing ego, he fond on my booty. I told him no, but he did. Yeah. You didn't say no. You said give me another vodka grand. I gave you the vodka grand. Did you put the clay loot in the All right, listen. <laughs> this is about to go way left. Listen. Listen, I'm the king of live streams, like I said. Like I said before. I seen Floyd, too. He was chilling. You can tell when a motherfucker got money. Floyd sit like he had money. Motherfucker was sitting hella crazy, like sideways. Hey, Floyd, loan me a hundred dollars. Like, how you sit? Like, how you sit like you have money? Floyd was like, he was watching the fight, like sideways and shit. Motherfucker, like, who sit? How you have a rich sit? <laughs> Floyd, give me some money, dog. Hey, I've been working hard, dog. Motherfucker had a rich sit. He, like, how are you even sitting? Like, you were watching the fight in the Philly Shell and shit. <laughs> that motherfucker was watching the, the fight in the Philly Shell. That motherfucker had a rich sit. He, like, who the fuck watches? He, this dude got money. Like I said, I got money out the ass. Literally, literally look at my ass. There's money coming in. The motherfucker was in the Philly shell watching the watching the, watching the shit. Anyway, <laughs> that man was at the fight yesterday. <laughs> I 
<laughs> hey, Blue Blood was there. Listen, shout out to Blue Blood. He in the chat. Man, Floyd, what y'all think this is just jokes? I'm not joking. Me and Blue Blood was trying to see if we get some shit with Floyd. He was in the Philly show, like, what's up, yo? The motherfucker was watching the fight like this. <laughs> hey, Leonard, no cameras. <laughs> but <laughs> ask Blue Blood. He was right there with me. He wasn't even watching the fight like a re- like most people eat their popcorn like you know what I mean direct and center. You want the full THX experience. See, blue blood. Tell you, y'all think I'm just saying this for, to make joke? Did <laughs> fact is funnier than fiction. He was really like I don't know how he was sitting. Like it didn't even look comfortable. But he's so used to the Philly shell. He was he was right here with it. Motherfucker be at the boobies eating popcorn. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, but that motherfucker got money. <laughs> Just the way he was sitting, let me know he had money. Because broke people don't sit like that. You know what I'm saying? Broke people, they we sit different. Like broke per- I mean, you may do like Keith Thurman Indian style, like some Dalsim shit, but broke people don't sit like that. Waiter, I ordered my food one hour ago. Hurry the fuck up. <laughs> like, you don't just be at a, I ain't never just been to a restaurant and sat like, <laughs> been right here. <laughs> hey, let me stop for Floyd sending big ass bodyguards to my hotel. Motherfucker. Um, <laughs> y'all tripping. I don't even know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, Kovalev. Yeah, you definitely can't take the fighter out, Floyd. Floyd ready for whatever at all times. I don't know if it was in the shell. In case anyone run up, I got to watch the fight like this. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, that's how you know he's a true fighter. Motherfucker ready to counter at all times. He, he taking a piss from the side and shit. Okay. Who want to run up? I'm ready to counter anytime. Listen. Kovalev said he didn't train. Man, stop. Let, okay, listen. Let's <laughs> talk about... Okay. That's where we are heading. I'm sorry. We... we, we lo- I lost everything. So <laughs> forget everything. The analogy was this. If you're dating a chick and she don't want to be with you, and then it led to Cosby and then Floyd Rich sitting, I got it again. If, if you're with a girl, she breaks up with you, she don't want to be with you, right? You can't do nothing about that. But if you don't, if you choose not to move on with your life and you dwell on this, this bitch, and then that's all you thinking about is her. Ooh, I want my baby back. <laughs> Remember when Tyrese was doing you doing all that? Do D my baby. Do D my baby. And you you sitting up here all dreary eyed, staring at your window pane over your ex. How can you move on to have another successful relationship if you thinking about your ex and you really not do D my baby? <laughs> Where's the body? Like, listen, if you want some cry shit, like, how can you move on successfully in a relationship? You get what I'm saying? Don't take my baby. You better get over that shit because that's the energy you're going to attract into your future endeavors. You can't be, listen, you meet a girl at a bar, you just broke up with your ex, and then all you're doing is talking about your ex. You know what I'm saying? What girl's gonna, she gonna feel that energy. She gonna be like, you're not over her, right? No. Don't take my baby. <laughs> like, bitch, you can't pop a no girl. Girls are smart. Girls is like, see, girls are like detectives. They be on some forensic files shit. They will find out. So you, you tell me you were never married. I noticed a tan line on your ring finger. What's that from? Like, damn, man, you fucking forensic file pathologist. How'd you even? Girls will put it together. 
So the, anyway, the comparison to Kovalev is this. If you don't get over one situation, it's hard to move on to the next. That's why I gave that a whole analogy. No, Dima, baby. He never got over the war fight. He was talking about Andre Ward. Uh, Andre Ward is afraid of me. That don't even make sense. Like, in what world? How is he afraid of you? And he spent 23 rounds with you or whatever it was. How is he afraid of you? Like, that doesn't even make sense. He okay, he been to the Olympics, gold medal as he beat you twice, second time by stoppage, but you telling TMZ he's afraid of a rematch with a crusher. Like that doesn't even make sense, bro. How does that make sense? Because if anything, you warm up to say, like, okay, I I've been in the ring with them 20 plus rounds. That's gonna eliminate the fear because you 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 know what to expect more so. If you were afraid, Ward would have never fought Kovalev. He would have never moved up and within his third fight at light heavyweight fought Kovalev, if that was the case. If he was just truly fearful. Like, look at look at the Joshua Wilder situation. A lot of people think Joshua's fearful of, of the Wilder fight. And I got another interview with the fighter um, giving his take on that. But guess what? Wilder Joshua hasn't happened. And it didn't happen next. So does that support that Joshua, maybe him or his team, Wants to wait for the Wilder fight? Absolutely, because they're not fighting next. Ward fought Kovalev, and then when it wasn't good enough or he felt he could do better or the fans thought he could do better or whatever, he fought him again immediately. No tune-up. He didn't say, like, oh, let me fight uh, Uniskip Gonzalez, and then I'll come back to the call. He straight away. So these are not the actions. Actions speak louder than words. These are not the actions of a man who is fearful. He wouldn't have took the fight to begin with, and you damn sure wouldn't have given him an immediate rematch. So that was stupid. Um, yeah, but like like I said, if, if you're not over your, your ex-girlfriend, how are you going to move on to a successful relationship? So you're just smashing the new chick thinking about, no, oh, Lisa. It's like, Lisa? My name ain't Lisa. Get out. Get out. You, you thinking about your ex as you smash the new chick. Like, no female going to want that. Kovalev never embraced or got over the word. Lawson. <clears throat> no, hey, bro, if I never done that, thankfully, but if you smashing a chick and you actually say the wrong name, it, there's no recovery from that. So I hope you guys aren't that ridiculous that you would say the wrong girl. Oh, Lisa, who's your daddy? Lisa? Remember that May skit? He was like, Ariane, what's up? I'm just back. I'm, I'm here to talk to you. And she's like, Ariane, who the fuck is Ariane? And then he was like, oh, you know, I'm I just said that to make you mad. May's slow talking that. He, he tried to slow talk his way out of out of the confusion. He like, okay, I just clicked over. That was my mother. I'm back, Ariane. Who the fuck is Ariane? Ain't no fucking Ariane. <laughs> oh, Ariane, you know I just said that to get you, man. Like, no, you, you really fucked up. You trying to you trying to recover? Y'all don't know the May skit? Damn, y'all some young buck. Y'all some real young buck. Y'all don't know Mace. But who the fuck is Mace? I know Pepper Spray. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is Pepper Spray? <laughs> He's from the Bronx. <laughs> y'all don't know Mace? Oh, shit. Shit, if I said Takashi 6 9 y'all be like, yeah. Got the blicky, huh? Got the sticky, huh? With the 50, huh? Got the gun like Ricky, huh? Die like Ricky, huh? When I get the blicky, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say die like Ricky uh when I got the blicky uh smoky sticky uh what the, what the freaky uh hey calico he said I'm over here dying bro I'm 44 years old so yeah I know mace see he even shout out to him he spelled mace with the dollar sign instead of the S so I know you know who Mace is because you didn't even use the S for Mace you put the the M A dollar sign E. You put the dollar sign, so I know it's real with you. Nigga, if he um, but he got the sticky uh, with the Ricky uh, with the... 
smoking lithium. Oh, yeah. I just said that to make you mad. <laughs> That's from the Harlem World album. Come on. Mace was, see, I'm on my Mace shit with this robe. Uh, I be like doing my boxing, like, come on, more money. Like Big say, more money, more problems. Come on, you want to, lady, I'm gonna front you. If I die now, my love will still haunt you. See, that was the original Kiki. That's cold. If you say that to a girl, <laughs> come on. If I die now, my love will still haunt you. That's clean. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that to a bit. <laughs> that probably scare her too. <laughs> Meet her at the club. Hey, let me buy you a drink. Come on. If I die now, my love will still haunt you. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> hey, would that pickup line work, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna use that. I'm like, come on, you want to, lady, I'm gonna front you. If I die now, my love will still haunt you. What? What do you mean if you die? You're about to die? You got AIDS? Like, what? 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 Bitch, what? Bitch, what? See, we just feeling good. That's why we, we tell a couple of jokes. We feeling good because we win. New media. Yeah, I think he's a preacher, murderer, something. I don't know. He'd be flipping, like, preacher, pastor mace, and then he'd be murder mace. I don't know what he is now. He fucking like, incarcerated mace. I don't know what the fuck he is. Lady want to front you. Why, Kiki? <laughs> mace was killing. Mace was actually slept on. He, can, he was spitting. He killed on that DMX album, too. He said something with aluminum, something. He said something I'm, a, I'm doing them, hit them with aluminum, I'm rolling them. He was killer. Y'all gotta y'all gotta get on that old mate. See, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like mates with the little ro my little robot, you know what I'm saying? I got a little mate rub. Got a little mate. I got that that bad boy, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, Mace was kind of killing. I love when the girl said he wanted skinny dip. Mini flip, on a mini flip. I be with hoes that pose and made it believe. <laughs> hey, Mace inspired, fabulous, and loom style. Hey, absolutely. They was even beefing at one point. May said, tell Loon and Fabby I'm their daddy or some shit. But anyway, back to Kovalev. I just feel like he never really <clears throat> embraced his loss. He never got over it. Therefore, it's hard to grow. It's hard to get to the next level. Hard to get to the next level when um, <clears throat> when you don't accept it. He's talking about Ward's afraid of him and doesn't want to rematch. Why would he be afraid of you and he just stopped you in your last outing? I mean, make that make sense. You know what I mean? The leader Alvarez, he was, he was going, he was going him. <coughs> See, and listen, this is y'all get mad. Blue Black Channel. Kathy Duva, she did a statement and she said, I'm not sure if a Kovalev Alita Alvarez fight is immediate. But how come the black fighter always has to fight the immediate rematch in his close controversial fights? Mayweather Maidana, immediate rematch. Mayweather Castillo, immediate rematch. Andre Ward Kovalev immediate rematch but then you hear kathy duva just she just said i'm not sure if kovalev alvarez is an immediate rematch so you don't want to get that belt back see they realize how it ended they realize how it ended you know what i mean that it would be really a wrap if he loses again or loses quicker or loses a wrap so they want to give him time same thing with lomachenko you see, I say what y'all scared to say, but it's the facts. Lomachenko, to this day, still ain't fought Salido. That's the one. Okay, he's great. He's a great fighter, good fighter, whatever you want to call it, right? That's the one style that's proven to beat him because it beat him. He still ain't fought him. Triple G Jacobs still ain't rematching. Well, no, no, Jacobs out here fighting his stable mate. That motherfucker got to fight someone in-house. He got to fight someone. They, they got the same trainer. 
Dervinchenko and Jacob got the same trainer. Same ass trainer. Andre Rozier got a run over the corner. Hey, son, Jacobs, what you want to do is dig. Hit him in the jaw. Then the next round, he got a run over Devinchenko the corner. Devinchenko, I'm going to tell you how to beat my son, Jacobs, even though I've been with him. For <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm pretty sure Rozier is probably going to train Jacobs. But you guys get what I'm saying. Jacobs is fighting. He has to fight his, his stable mate, so to speak. You get what I'm saying? And and all these black fighters, Sugar Ray Leonard versus Roberto Duran. Boom. Duran beats him. Immediate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Immediate rematch. <clears throat> he got a immediate rematch, yo. Meanwhile, Kovalev's promoter tells you that he might not immediate. We don't know if he's going to immediately rematch Alvarez. He don't want to? Listen. No, Manny Pacquiao is the rematch king when he wants to be. He didn't give Bradley an immediate rematch. You know what I'm saying? He waited and got not. He waited till Marquez knocked him out. Marquez is like... And I just want to tell other people... That motherfucker. Hey, uh, Marquez was not playing. That yeah. Um, I just went to anything. All the people in general. I need um, the smelling salt to, to wake me. I need, I need <laughs> Marquez. <laughs> Marquez. <laughs> um, I need smelling salt um, to help me um, wake up for that one. Hey, um, I don't know. I choose this over... Um, Tim Bradley, um, it's up to my promoter. <laughs> hey, Mark. <laughs> Death Row East. Marquez was not playing at all. I love Marquez. He's like one of my favorite counter punchers. He was not playing. Him up his nose is bleeding. And he's just... <laughs> um, I, I, I should go back to uh, selling donuts and um, that cigarette. Mm, they sell cigars to um, the community. I'm up at it. He had some time to think about life because he was like, I don't know where he was. He was in a very peaceful place. It was very tranquil. He probably seen his kids. Jinky. He was somewhere. Marquez put him in the outer limit. In the twilight zone. I don't know where the fuck he was, but Marquez was not playing with that right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the Twilight Zone. Actually, the Pacquiao remake. He was in the Pacquiao Twilight Zone. Hey, Marquez. <laughs> Hey, Marquez put it. Hey, Mar- Marquez put Pacquiao in a sunken place. I mean, so, uh, motherfucker was just saying shit. He didn't know where. Um, it's up to my promoter. I need, um, I want one subway foot long. I want, <laughs> um, sweet onion teriyaki uh, chicken, um, subway. I don't like, uh, Jared. He's, Jared, Jared, uh, he's, he's in prison now. Hey, I don't know where the fuck Pacquiao was. <laughs> hey, Marquez put him in that sunken place. Oh, my God. Pacquiao didn't know where he was. I mean, he's a legend, but he didn't He didn't know. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Uh, my favorite show is uh, Reading Rainbow. I, I like the guy, uh, Jordy LeVar, uh, LeVar Burton. Yeah, he's a good host uh, for the show. What? <laughs> hey, Pacquiao is tripping. <laughs> Marquez trained for that knockout. He drank his own piss and added bench press to his workout. Hey, you wilder. He was drinking. He was drinking the shit on 24-7 like the piss was good. He was, like it was an ad for piss. Like... You ever wake up feeling low energy? 
Drink your own piss. Ding! I'm like it was a Mentos commercial or something. Drink your own goddamn piss. The fresh maker. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. I was just trying to be funny and I literally almost spit on my MacBook Pro. And I would have been pissed. Cause I don't got no Geek Squad or no bullshit. No Apple Care. Oh my God. I literally, cause I was like, <laughs> cause it splashed, like it overly, I didn't, like I wanted to do it to be funny, but too much came out cause I got this big ass Hulkamania sized water and too much of the shit splashed on me. And I, I seen it in camera. I was just drowned it for a minute. And I looked at myself. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, Ego? Like, you tripping. And kind of seen how much water had came out. You know what I'm saying? The levee broke and shit. And then I almost spit it back on my, like, like you tripping. Like, that was too far for, for the fans. And I almost spit it back on my Mac. That would have been bad. I would have been pissed. Um, Rick Samuel, $5 Super Chat. Yow, Ego, what's poppin'? Yow. You a fool. Hey, you still in the hood. Keep, keep spitting that heat. BK in this. Shout out to the BX. Shout out to BK. Shout out to NY, man. All the five boroughs. Y'all hold me down. I love it out here. September 8th, should I come back? Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. That's a great fight. Wow. Kitty Tumbo says $2 super chat. Why Manny Pacquiao talking Morse code? I may do the a do 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 do. Believe I'm. Boop, boop. Uh, it's up to beep beep. My boop boop beep beep motor. Do 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 bop. Bop 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 bop. I'm loving it. That's where the McDonald's tagline came from. Do 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 do. I'm loving. <laughs> Let me stop, man. Bop bop bop. Do 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 do. I'm loving it. <laughs> hey yo, Wallet. Yeah, but I just feel Kovalev didn't accept his loss, and therefore it's hard to move on. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Damn, Roy Jones said Kovalev is pretty much done at age thirty-five. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, Clarissa Shield was there. I seen her. Ego stupid as fuck. Do the comedian with the impressions. <laughs> well, I got to be all there. I'm just, I'm just living my best life. Yeah. I don't know. That's the that's the NY dance. Sing a nice song to it. What the fuck is this? Broadway? Motherfucker talking about sing a nice song. What? Hey, y'all bugging. Someone said sing a nice song. You want me to sing you a lullaby? Roy Jones been tripping lately? How? So you think Kovalev, he's going to be back on top? He's lost his belt. Yeah, man. Shout out to the, somebody just someone just sent a PayPal. Shout out to Louis. Louis, Louis, Louis. Oh, Louis. We got to go. Shout out to Louis. For the five dollar super chat, well, it's through PayPal, so y'all can't see it, but I got it. So shout out to you. Yeah, Floyd did dap out. I got a video. Spencer, I mean, yeah, Joey Spencer is talking about it. 
I never thought Kovalev was that good. He was. He's a good boxer, and he has power and a good jab. But, like I said, Ward took something up out of him. Oh, him saying Loma's tougher fight than Spence? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know why he said that. Oh no. <clears throat> Someone just called, but I don't know who it is. Yeah, I don't know, but Loma is not a harder fight for Mikey. Hell no. Hell no. <clears throat> I think Mikey would beat Loma. Loma's good, but like like I said, he he's oh he's there to be hit. You just have to punch with him. If you especially if you listen, Mikey was throwing he I was at the fight. I was at the Easter fight and I was at the Broner fight. And he was even more aggressive in the Easter fight. And which is smart because the guy was tall. You, you want to take that confidence away quick. So I don't think Mikey will be playing no games. I don't think you if he fought Lomachenko, he's not going. He's going to try to bring that smoke. He's not going to let Lomachenko get in and start fidgeting around and shit. I, I really don't see that. Speed? What the fuck does speed got to do with it? Errol Spence got cool speed, but Lomachenko speed. Anything in boxing can be negated. You'd be a big puncher, have a shitty chin. You could move a lot, go to the body and jab. You know what I mean? Speed, timing. There's always something, a formula that beats it, and that's proven. So Danny Garcia is faster than Amir Khan? Okay. Hold on. Hello? Oh, hey. Uh Yo, sorry, we had, to hand, we had to handle some shit. Okay, I'm in my bathroom. We doing the live stream with the bathroom. Okay, this is how we do our live streams. We do it in luxury, and, and we want to be as comfortable as we can. Uh, we want to be, I drink water, okay. <laughs> like, Yeah. Man, like I said, Lomachenko's good, but Spence is a harder fight. Gervonta's on Twitter calling out Dillashaw. Oh, wow. Gervonta's a fighter. He would have power in them little ass UFC gloves. I don't know what, if it's boxing or what, but yeah. <laughs> Tank will have cracks with them UFC gloves. Oh, hold on. Let me. Y'all bugging, man. Listen, I got I got a story to tell y'all. Y'all gotta stay tuned though.
Shout out to my dude Tank, man. He a real one. Shout out to Baltimore. I gotta. Hold on. I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story. Y'all give me give me a second though. I gotta, I gotta tell you, like, it's crazy. This boxing shit is crazy, man. One second, yo. Yo, make sure we gotta get them likes up. How are we not at 300 yet? Y'all bugging. Damn, Kovalev is one in three in his last four fights. That's crazy when you put it in perspective like that. <clears throat> Yo, smash the like button. We're we going to talk about it. Mikey beat Spence, they will say Loma would beat him. <laughs> yeah, if he beat Spence, he he he, he a beast. I got a story for you. <laughs> Yo, we got to get to 315 likes. Y'all playing. 315 likes. We got some story time. <sighs> we got to get them likes up, though. Y'all got to get them likes up, and then we can continue. Yeah, it's about tanking AB, man. Make sure you follow me at Boxing Ego on Instagram, on, on everything. We everywhere.
All right, we close. Why y'all gas tank? What does that even mean? I know what gas means, but what, who's gassing? What, what are you talking about? Y'all just be saying whatever. Why are you guys gas tank? What are you talking about? He hasn't beat anyone. Who you beat? Who you beat? Your name is In Squad. Who you beat? Who you beat? Who's gassy? Where you work at? In Squad. Where you work at? My next door neighbor. That sounds creepy. So your your next door neighbor, you work for them? He's like, put some more milk in my glass, please. What, you got like an old ass man or something? You, you a caretaker? Why do you work for your neighbor? That's weird. Please check the mail and massage my feet. Massage my feet. <laughs> Get in here, you imbecile. Yo more LL Cool J. What? What does LL have to do with anything? Yeah, we live. <laughs> you be getting abused by an old man. <laughs> Massage my feet. You imbecile. You'll do dual perfect. Man, what are you even talking about? Are you drunk? What you was drinking wine? You went wine tasting? What's wrong with you? You know what I'm talking about? LL Cool J, you'll do fine. What are you talking about? He, first, he started out while you guys tank, and then he talking about LL. Ooh, this is a light skin. You just naming random light skin. DeBarge! You just naming random light skin people. Ice T. Ice T, he tried to save Pookie. What? What are you talking about? He worked for your LL Cool J prefect. Man, get your. I'm, I can't even look, look like you're out of here, bro. Motherfuckers talking in tongues. Oh, you LL perfect cool. Ladies love cool J in the Hampton. Oh, what the fuck are you even talking about, bro? Motherfuckers misspelled perfect. You ain't perfect because you ain't even spelled a word. Listen. Yeah, he won attention. I gave him attention. He won. Block! L, get him out of here. All right, we got 315. Listen, I'm media. I cover boxing. This is a glorious sport. I love. I love this sport that I am in. Okay, you guys. Hey, hey, you guys. Am I right? I love this sport. I love this sport of boxing. But we gotta establish some boundaries. Pineapples, motherfucker. I witness media or whatever at the fights following Adrian Broner. Oh man, you know A B about bathrooms and Gervonta Tank Davis into the bathroom cameras rolling trying to get footage where they do that at man like I, listen i don't know how broke people are but i don't need views that bad that's insane like, yeah broner number one or number two broner like motherfuckers was in the bathroom with that. like i ain't doing all that Fuck what y'all heard like it's not that serious. I don't know. I'm just different. Maybe I'm made different. I'm not walking with no man into no laboratory. Adrian Broner. And Adrian Broner be joking and shit. I'm going to fuck around and piss on your shoes just to... Ah, man, you know. Bow bow movements and just shit on you or piss on you. Like, man, hell no. I'm good. Man, I don't need no interview like that. The fuck you gonna add you underneath the stall? Look at his fucking shoes and shit. Oh, those those are some clean sneaks, Broner. Yeah, fucking inside edition ass motherfuckers. Extra, yeah, that's extra, all right. Extra, you Mario Lopez, because that really is extra. What you doing? I y'all weird. Y'all some fucking weirdos. All y'all, everybody. That's why I stay in my lane. I'm motherfuckers following people in the bathroom. 
What? It'd be one thing if if it was like like they follow him in the bathroom, like you know how MTV cribs. You remember how he like? Oh, I want to show y'all how I'm living. Come in MTV. You remember how he like they like invite MTV camera crews in? That's how they. Like, it'd be one thing if that shit happened. They just followed him in it. Oh, Tank, what about Loma? Like, what about leaving me the fuck alone? That's that's doing too much, man. That's sus as fuck. Hey, Broner, number one or number two? You on some TMZ shit? Ooh, 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 man. Remember what Eminem said? Because I am whatever you say I am. He said, I'm thankful for every fan that I get, but I can't take a shit in the bathroom without somebody standing by it. No one was on the other girl. Like, what the fuck? Hey, run the fuck around and snap on you. Ah, I'm snap on you. They followed him into the bathroom. That is like, this is never. You see, like, it's not that serious because, like, when you travel, like I travel, I'm a sea broner. So if I don't get him this time, get him next time. I seen Tank. He said we could do an interview, but we did in, in LA at the Mikey Garcia fight. He said, yeah, yeah, hit me. We'll do an interview. We never linked up. You know what I mean? I'm doing my thing. But it's not the end of the world. Tank's my dude. That's my, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to see him. I'm going to see him when I see him. We'll try to get the most footage for you guys. I don't know. We just different. Hey, Money Pal just came out the cuts. He said, that is true. Andre Ward is indeed Shang Tsung. <laughs> I hope that all is well, man. Yeah, we're just living. I'm just in my room. We're doing a live stream, chatting and boxing. But yeah, the people who follow Broner in, that's, that's, that's you got to give some man as, as a man. Like, Broner is cool. He wants to fight Omar Figueroa. It looks like from his, he, him and Figueroa took a picture together. Figueroa's brother fought on that card, so he was there. And then they took a, a picture together. But you guys got to give these fighters some type of privacy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to. That's why we need we need Mike Tyson back. Mike Tyson wouldn't allow that. Mike Tyson was so blunt. He, you follow Mike to the bathroom, see what happened in his prime. <clears throat> I, I, okay, I, I just want to take a piss. You gonna hold my dick? You gonna hold my dick? Are you? Are you gonna hold my dick? You wanna shake it for me? You wanna fake it? Like it might be. It's not finna. He would snap on y'all. We need Mike back. Mike would regulate all this. Shit. I I just wanna. I wanna go in the latrine. I can't. I can't even have no privacy. I can't have no privacy. You wanna shake my dick? You wanna fake it, huh? Like Mike would not he knock your dumb ass out for some shit like that. On God, Mike would have snapped. Yeah, exactly. He would have. I want to use the restroom. I can't even. I can't even use the restroom. See, you lucky cussing in here because I would cuss your ass the fuck out. But I'm trying to be. Respectful. I I I got I gotta take a shift. I gotta take a sip. What? What? <laughs> Praise be Allah! <laughs> like, motherfucker would snap on your dumb ass. I'm coming, Lennox. I'm coming for you, sweetie. Everybody, they wanna watch me take piss. They wanna take something from me, like Robin Givens. But the only thing I'm giving is apple. Praise be Allah! <laughs> like, how long did it spinal? Like, hey, Mike, how long did you train for this? But I didn't. <laughs> Mike was hella cutthroat. <laughs> Chief Gray asked him, he said, how long you train? You got a knockout, Mike. How, did, how long did you train? I what? I didn't. I ain't train. I ain't train at all. I did I did like two push-ups and some sit-ups. That's all I did. I, I did sit-ups and, and a couple push-ups. It's final. My back is broken. <laughs> hey, he tripping. Yeah, but they followed Broner and Gervonta into the bathroom. I'm like, I'm not doing it. I know y'all like coverage and shit. Why, what, what, what you gonna ask a man why he pissing? Or worse, 
taking a shit, vomiting, whatever people do in the bathroom. What, what, what do I got to ask? What's so important that I have to ask Broner anything in the bathroom? Huh? Ah, oh, man, you know, A, B. Always bath stalls. Like, what, what do I got to ask him? There ain't nothing in this world I got to ask him that bad. You listen, I was telling my dude Blue this. I don't even want my YouTube thumbnail shot to be Broner. And y'all can see in the picture bathroom stalls and urinals and shit with the little, the pink little, little starburst, little round starburst thing. I don't even want that to be my thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter how many views it'll get. I don't want Broner, you know, National Enquirer and bathroom, rows of bathroom stalls. And there's and the other thing is there's other people in the bathroom. Their privacy, you know what I mean? Dudes, dudes don't care. Like, you know what I mean? Dudes just get to, there's always that dude that gets to the urinal and he start pissing and fart. Any urinal in America, probably everywhere in the world. Watch. Just listen. You don't watch because that sounds weird. <laughs> you motherfuckers just watching in the bathroom. Don't watch. But listen. Because every time I'm in the bathroom, I hear. I always hear a dude walk up. Uh, like, where, where did the fart come from? You just holding that in? You just you had to wait till you start pissing? You motherfuckers doing all types of stuff like that. You filming it. Like, you filming random dudes. Like, <laughs> Nah, I, I said watching, but don't be watching in no bathroom. <laughs> like, like you a lifeguard and shit. You just like, who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this asshole? <laughs> the bathroom monitors and shit. Marlo did this thing. His his opponent was big. Shout out to Marlo. Shout out to Marlo Moore. Follow him. Marlo Moore Boxing. That's my dude from the Bay. He's just some Bay Area boys, man. He looked good. He had, had a guy. His, his opponent, he, I talked to him after. His, his opponent weighed 270. And Marlo's just like a lean in shape. You know what I mean? But 270, that's that's a big ass heavyweight. Yo, this nigga ego got me crying. I'm just real, man. I'm just an honest, live and direct in the flesh type of person. Don't follow these fighters to no bathroom. They like, listen, listen to your OG. And then on top of that is like, I mean, as a personality, there's not that many people that are bigger than me in this game. I'm just going to say it straight out. You know what I mean? So what, what, what channel do you even have, even if you work for a big channel? You know what I'm saying? To do all that, you got to give these fighters some privacy. See, that's why people, I think the fighters fuck with me because I'm a real person. Like, I'm, I come to work, I'm professional and all that. I'm not, I don't have to do all that. Hey, Charlo, get back here. And fucking run after him as he's going to the bathroom and shit. Like, I'm not doing it. Lions only, dude. Wait, get the fuck back here. I'm I'm, I'm down with the lions only, man. The little fucking lion. The fucking lions only. Like, these dudes know when y'all dick riding. So I don't know why. The goddamn lions only. Like, can they piss in peace? Like, you know. How you know I did a Caleb Plant interview? That was creepy. Someone said, when you're releasing that Caleb Plant I don't even know how you know that, that I have one. So that's good. God damn, the lions are they wait, wait for me, man. I'm like, they do this. They come to chill out, go to a fight. I mean, trust me, I try to get interviews and you know what I mean? I'll, I'll follow fighters around, but I ain't following no one in no latrine, lavatory, bathrooms and shit. I see why it's called the restroom. Them motherfuckers got to rest to get away from you. I was stalking them and shit. <laughs> Broner, ring, ring, ring. Hey, Broner. <laughs> oh, Blue Blood showed me interview on plan. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to release it right now because I'm going to get some lunch and then uh, get off this live stream. Thank you all for keeping it real with me, gang, gang. I'm just, I decided to stay my stay. I, I got to get my flight home. So I got to look into some things. <laughs> hey, Money Pal said you are a pure comedian, LOL. The Black Channel. Why do the Black Channels want COVID left to lose? 
the black channel. <laughs> yeah, man, Kovalev, I, I think Ward, he just, just, I'll swallow your soul. He just took something from that man. And the leader, Alvarez, finished it off. It's going to be hard to come back from that. Because you got dropped three times. You know, like, Ward chipped away and stripped away that invincibility. And that's that's huge. Kovalev's a bully. I told you that. I've been said that. Kovalev is a bully type of fighter. So part of it, like, yeah, I'm I'm Kovalev. You've seen my work. Nathan Cleverly. Bi, you see my work, Jean Pascal, uh, Mohammed. You you see what I do. You know what I'm saying? And that's part of his legend. But when someone strips that away from you, and shows that oh you got you could be hurt, you could be stopped, you could be uh, like fatigued and all that, you can come from behind and win a fight. All that was stripped away. Same thing with Golovkin. Like a lot of people, listen. If Canelo stops Golovkin, I wouldn't be impressed. I mean, excuse me, I said that wrong. If Canelo stops Golovkin, I wouldn't be shocked. Not saying it absolutely will happen, but if it did happen, I wouldn't be shocked. A lot of y'all would be super shocked. What? Oh, Canelo? Because all y'all do is say crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't respect the fight game. So you, you think of some of these guys as, like, immortals or something. Golovkin can be hurt. He's, I've seen him hurt. I think Curtis Stevens hurt him. So y'all don't look at stuff, but I think Curtis Stevens hurt him. There's different severities of being hurt too. So don't run around using my name. He goes saying Curtis Stevens was beating Triple G's. I didn't say that. I said he was hurt. You know what I'm saying? Um, Canelo hurt him to the body, round eight or nine, somewhere around there. But it isn't. It's, you know, it's not, I wouldn't be as shocked as you. You guys get shocked because you don't, a lot of y'all don't put stuff into perspective and y'all don't, y'all don't look at it from a real, you look at it from like more of, not all of you, but some of you look from it from like a fanboy perspective. That's not a reality. Like Joshua Wilder is a prime example of a situation like that. Anybody who's acting like Wilder has no shot against Joshua, you, you, you're probably a casual. Even if you think Joshua wins, that's good. That's fine. But if you think that he has no chance with that type of power, with the inch height advantage, with the reach of it, I mean, you just, you're not being realistic. And it's always the ones that get um, exposed, like proven wrong time and time again. Like this whole Kovalev stuff. Everyone's like, oh, Nutcracker Ward and, this but what happened last night then ward obviously dented the man's confidence and the moment he stepped up with a, a, okay put it this way who's the best person kovalev has fought since andre ward go who is the best person Wait for y'all to type. Who is the best person Kovalev fought since since Andre Ward? Exactly. He ain't fought no one like close to Ward, and then when he does fight someone who's well-rounded, power, good frame, good size, undefeated. That's his first L. He didn't fight nobody that, that would prove that he's back. Like, it's like, here's another example. I know Amir Khan, like, cool dude or whatever. But Amir Khan, the people he's fighting, Samuel Vargas and Phil LaGreco, that's ultimately not going to show us that Amir Khan is fully back from the Canelo knockout. He knocked out Phil LaGreco in 40 seconds. That's great. You got a win in the win column. But it's Phil LaGreco. Phil LaGreco got stopped by Errol Spence. Lost to Sean Porter. Right? And it was a chef on YouTube. So that doesn't really show. Stop Errol Spence in 40 seconds. Do you get what I'm saying? It, it, so you got to put this stuff in perspective. Same thing with Samuel Vargas. 
another Errol Spence leftover and Danny Garcia. So those might be the right fights that his, his management feels he should take back. But I can't say Amir Khan is fully back until he fights someone at least similar to the style that defeated him. Kovalev never fought anyone the style of Andre Ward or even close to it until last night. And I'm not saying a leader Alvarez is as good as Ward. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you look at Ward and you look at leader Alvarez, those would probably be the most complete fighters. If you look at his last four or five fights, those are the most complete fighters that Kovalev has faced. And they both beat him. You know what I mean? Same thing with Khan. The styles that are giving him problems, Danny Garcia, right? Canelo knocked him out. So a puncher like Errol Spence, you have to beat someone like that, Kel Brook. Are you going to Billy Joe versus Andrade in Chicago? I, I heard it's in uh, Boston. I don't know where the Chicago thing is. I don't know if that's the newest. I've been moving, so I don't know. I heard it was going to happen in Boston. Though. But, yeah, I've been out to Boston. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> I had a good time. There's some fine women out here. I was in, like, Worcester. Oh, my gosh. There was, like, some Dominicans. Man, it was out there. Dude, Chicago, the zone is fucked. Why? Yeah, I heard that the zone is debut. Their debut is on the same night as Conor McGregor returned. That's that was foolish. Well, actually, they to their credit, they they announced it first, but they they need to come up off that date. That's a horrible date because I'm a boxing fan, but I I will probably watch. Hold on, what what? Oh, it's Chicago. Hold on, so Andrade. Hold on. Andrade and um, Billy Joe are on the night of Connor. I hate that Boston accent. They're like, yeah, give me my khakis. I'm like, what? Like, you, you want some khakis? You coming to California, to LA? You want some khakis? Ca- no, I said my khakis. Like, oh, your car keys. That's what that's called. You know, like, Give me the goddamn khaki. Meet me at Fenway Pack. <laughs> um, hold on. Andre. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Andre Billy Joe Saunders is the same night as, oh, Jesse Vargas. So Andre Billy Joe is not the same night then. Andre, who is Jesse Vargas fighting? Because I heard him call out Mikey Garcia. Who is he fighting? You just, y'all giving me the news and shit? Okay, who's Jesse Vargas fighting? With? Hey, meet me at Fenway Pot. Give me the khakis. Thomas Delorme? Oh, yeah. Hey, DeZone. Hey, DeZone, man. <laughs> You gotta do something, so yeah. That Thomas Delorme no longer with Mayweather promotion, so Mayweather ain't gonna be there. And that that's not really the fight that's gonna. Yeah. Hey, hey, Dizone, man. Hey, power nigga. <laughs> you gotta do. You gotta do something, Dizone. That's terrible to do it on that night. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know about no just that doesn't really excite me. But what happened with Eddie Hearn? Remember Eddie Hearn was saying he had all these fighters jumping in his DM and I'll take that deal. I'll tell you what. You said American promoters would be shaking in their boots. What? Over Jesse Vargas Delorme? Okay. That doesn't, I don't know, that fight doesn't excite me. Maybe Jesse Vargas versus you, Gus. I would like something like that. Jesse Vargas, Adrian Granados would have been a good one. Jesse Vargas versus um, Omar Figueroa. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. 
but that's that's actually probably one of the worst matches to to me. Like out of every okay, out of everything, I, and Jesse Vargas is a cool dude. But out of everything I just said, I would prefer Jesse Vargas versus any of those dudes over Thomas Delorme. Jesse Vargas versus you guys. Jesse Vargas versus Adrian Granados. Jesse Vargas versus Omar Figueroa. I personally prefer all of those matches to Thomas Delorme. But anyway, I'm out. I got some stuff to do. I'll let the kid. It's been real.